Today we're going to change the differential fluid on the can down. Front and rear. So let's take the beast for a ride. Warm it up. Probably throw it four wheel drive here. thousand miles 111 hours still breaking her in all right let's take her for a ride I lived up here in the woods for seven years and I've seen less than a dozen deer. It's bizarre. With the two bad winters that we had, all the logging that goes on up here, all the wolves that we have, it's completely decimated the deer population in northern Minnesota. DNR even reduced the number of deer you can take. Back when I used to bow hunt and rifle hunt, in the fall you could take five deer up here in northern Minnesota. Now I think you're only allowed two. You have to shoot a buck first and then you can shoot a doe. I don't even hunt anymore because it's not worth my time because there's no Dear. We'll do the front end first. There's no drain plug for the front differential, only a fill plug. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'll take out that fill plug and then pump it out of there with a tool pump that I have. As much as I can get out of there and then come on. There we go. Finagling, get at it. Oh, that's tight. All right, got her out. I'm gonna put the hose in there and start pumping. Here's the pump I use right here. Just a simple pump that you can get at any auto parts store. I got mine from Amzo because I'm an Amzo dealer, but pump hoses pretty simple to use nope I was wrong folks <laughs> there's the drain plug it was covered in mud so I couldn't see it but it's right there that's gonna make my life ten times easier so I'll pull that out drainer thank god I found that this one Appears to be a five millimeter.
There we go. Some more nasty fluid. Not much in there. This is four tenths of a quart is the capacity, so that's not a whole lot. I'll let this drain, put the plug back in, and then we'll fill it up. All right, so we got the torque wrench set at 24 foot pounds, and we'll put her back in. How could it be that tight? Well, we got a problem here, folks. This nut is stripped out and stuck in there. That owner's manual is not correct at all. It says 24 foot-pounds, which is tighter than the oil drain plug and tighter than the rear um, the rear gearbox and this is a tiny little nut so I called the local dealer and they're two weeks out they said bring it in it could be a manufacturer misprint which I'm assuming it is because in the owner's manual it does say 24 foot pound I'll show you this is a 2019 Can-Am Defender maintenance here here we go. Here it is. Differential oil change. Drain plug access hole right there. Remove it. And install the drain plug. 24 foot pounds. And that right there totally stripped it out so I'm gonna have to bring it in so they can tap it out or replace that front differential it's got a two-year warranty on it so hopefully we get this figured out sorry about that but it's <laughs> all we can do okay lesson learned the hard way folks I put some oil in there they recommended me Put some in there so that I could get it on the trailer and bring it into the shop. I was, I was able to get the, uh, the bolt out again and take a look up in there. So the bolt itself is fine. It's the aluminum differential that's stripped out. The threads are stripped out. So um, what they could do is tap it to a different size bolt. Or tap it again to the same size we'll see what happens but that's totally a mistake on the owner's manual there for having a 24 foot-pound um, I would only hand tighten that tiny little nut under there if you're gonna change it so we'll see what happens when they take a look at it they said they're two weeks out so it's gonna be a while but uh, thanks for watching Talk to you later.